Okay, go. Here's your Clendenin Ski Method Movement Analysis for Portillo 2009. You surprised all the coaches this year with the overall quality of your skiing. We looked at your footage several times to find a couple of key issues for you to work on. Watching this section, we wondered if you have a boot issue. It seems difficult for your ankles to extend and flex. Consequently, you end up with your balance back behind your heels. In this clip, after John's boots had some work done, look at the angles in his ankles as he moves from flexed to a neutral release. He's able to extend and be free in the love spot. John's ankles are flexed. He then extends to a stacked position, his ankles also opening up. And then at the bottom of the turn, he's fully flexed again. Ankles forward, closed, ready for the next pull touch. Again, he extends, stacked, ankles open. Flexes again, closing his ankles. Let's focus on you in the same clip. The angle of your ankles seems to be pretty consistent, the same throughout. In order to extend, you open your knees and your hips. You end up back with your hips behind your heels. We think maybe that having your boots softened so it's easier to extend will help you with this. Especially on the steeper terrain, John thinks you use your pull touch to step rather than to release. Just before your pull touch, your weight is on your downhill ski. You use your pull touch to help shift your weight to your top ski. You ended up with the stem entry since you didn't release the downhill ski, since your pull didn't serve as a cue to a release, but as an aid to shift your balance. Eko, your challenge in Gargantua was to use your pole touch to release your downhill ski. Good job! You own this move on easier terrain. You just need to keep working on practicing it on easier terrain and moving it up to the more difficult. Swing touch! Swing touch! Swing touch! On your right turn, you generally release in a parallel entry. On your left turn, it's a little bit more of a challenge, so let's look at it again. On this left turn, you release your uphill ski before your downhill ski, and that gives you the stem entry. 
if you get the release of your downhill ski on your left turn to match the release of your downhill ski on the right turn, you'll have parallel entries on both sides. Here's a slow motion look at John's release of his skis as he starts a left turn. The downhill ski releases, parallel entry. The same turn from a different angle. Downhill ski tips, uphill ski tips, and right around the turn he goes. He made lots of progress in Portillo Eco. You skied the zipper line. Now your focus to move to the next level is to use your pole to release your downhill ski into each turn, especially the left one. And it may help to look at your boots to see if they can be softened to make it easier for you to extend and to flex.